Mumbai to another one in neighboring Gujarat. Just take a look at these pictures that have come to us from Banaskatha. This is where a portion of an under construction bridge has collapsed. The broken portion fell on a bystander who, despite his best efforts to escape, got crushed under it. He's, of course, lost his life. Just take a look at these pictures. Uh, this again, ladies and gentlemen, coming uh, from Banaskatha, which is in Gujarat and comes exactly, exactly a year after the Morbi bridge collapse. Let's move on now as you see these pictures. We are shifting our focus now to what has become a biting problem for India. T tycoon Parag Desai's death has once again put the focus on the stray dog menace in our cities. Parag Desai was the executive director of the 2000 crore rupee tea conglomerate Vag Bakri. You all must have heard of it. You all must have seen its tea lounges. The 49-year-old had just come out of his residence in Ahmedabad on October 15th when a pack of stray dogs surrounded him. He tried to get away. They chased him. He fell to the ground and suffered serious injuries to his head. The Vagbakri air was immediately rushed to a nearby hospital. Last evening, a week later, he died of a brain hemorrhage. Now, this is not a stray incident, whether we are talking about Ahmedabad or across India. In a report tabled in the state assemblies last month, it was reported that Ahmedabad has an average of six dog bites per hour and this average has been maintained ever since 2020. In Gujarat, that average stands at 48 dog bites per hour. But this isn't just about Ahmedabad or Gujarat. This is a problem across the country. All of you face it. India has a reported population of 60 million stray dogs. Between 2019 and November 2022, there were 1.6 crore stray dog bite incidents, which translates to around 10,000 cases daily. So every day in India, there are 10,000 dog bites reported. In 2019 alone, over 4,000 people lost their lives because of dog bites. Most of them were children. One of the states where the stray dog menace is most prevalent is Kerala, also known as God's own country. It's now called Dog's own country. The state has seen a sharp spike in stray dog-related incidents over the last four years. In 2019, the cases stood at nearly 5,800. Fast forward to 2022, and Kerala reported over 11,700 stray dog-related incidents. That's a spike of over 100% in just three years. The issue reached India's top court, that is the Supreme Court, earlier this year, when the state's child rights body moved the Supreme Court, seeking direction to euthanize dogs with rabies. The Supreme Court said no. They said no to culling. It's inhuman. Now, one of the incidents cited was the death of an 11-year-old differently abled boy who was attacked by a stray dog in June this year in Kerala's Tanur. The Supreme Court heard this issue on July 12th and orally observed that it needs for an enduring solution. The court has now bunched a batch of 30 petitions seeking steps to curb stray dog menace. The hearing was to begin on uh, October 18th, but as of now, there are no updates on it. My guest this evening, and we are opening up our phone lines as well, ladies and gentlemen, because as I said, this is not just about Parag Desai or Ahmedabad. This is a biting problem across India. Our phone numbers are on your screens, 0120-6634-616. Ambika Shukla is a citizen activist. She's also the trustee of People for Animals. Joining us on the broadcast, Abha Singh is a lawyer activist, someone who is in the Supreme Court uh, on the issue. Abha Singh, I want to ask you, uh, why are you in the Supreme Court when it comes to the issue of stray dogs? And be candid, is the Supreme Court also not serious enough about an issue uh, which honestly impacts the daily life of citizens who step out of their colonies and societies? Because October 18th was when the hearing was to start and as of now, we don't know what's happening to it.
Okay, uh, I don't. I don't think Abba can hear us, uh, so I'll just request our producers to try and ensure that she can hear, hear my question. Let me go to our first caller. Vani is calling us from New Delhi. Vani, good evening. Go ahead, please. Like we have Kerala where the dog bite cases are increasing and then we have states like Goa and Sikkim. I recently visited uh, Goa and mm. I saw that the whole local population, they were caring of the dogs. So if I look at the statistics in the Goa, uh, the uh, few days ago, the CM said only less than 10 cases, 10 dog bites cases come in a year. So if a state like Goa can do it, why can't another state can do it? From five past five years, there has been no cases of rabies in Goa. In Sikkim, is going to achieve that in the next two or two, three years. But why other states are not acting on it? Why the authorities, the municipality mm. are not taking it seriously? There is a... Uh, a program of sterilization of the dogs. In my locality, I'm not a, an active feeder of the dogs. I I don't uh, take care of them, but uh, some people do uh, take care of them, and uh, I can guarantee these dogs have not bitten any people in past one year because uh, they are being fed daily. They have been taken care of them. Most of them are mute or they are uh, very old to even walk. So I think the problem is over here okay. of... Uh, Local authorities not uh, taking uh, steps of, about uh, sterilization. The animal welfare people, they keep on shouting okay. that we want to contribute. No, and is, <laughs> but is sterilization also the answer? That uh, That is something I'll, I'll get to in just a bit. Uh, very quickly, let's go across to Neha and I'll get in my guests as well. Neha, go ahead. Good evening. You're calling us from Bangalore. Uh, yeah, so see, I wanted to mention that every day I feed around 30 stray dogs. The problem here is dogs are not being sterilized. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you, Neha. Go ahead. Yeah, so I think the government should take steps to, uh, you know, towards um, conducting animal birth control on a larger scale. And they should also inject the dog with the uh, anti rabies vaccine. So I think it's the government's responsibility also. And dogs should be fed. I don't, you see, I see so many cruelty incidents because I am also uh, associated uh, with uh, rescue mm. shelters. So then I uh, see here you're just talking about the dog bites and stuff. Uh, but what about the cruelty that's inflicted on dogs everywhere, all around the country? So if you inject, the problem can be mm. solved easily by controlling the population, by taking animal birth control measures, and also by injecting anti-rabies, uh, using okay. anti-rabies vaccines everywhere. So that is my point. And dogs should be fed regularly. Okay. So they, they don't get aggressive okay. that way. So why don't they talk about those issues? Okay, we we'll leave it there. Thanks, thanks very much. But there are 1.6 crore stray dogs in this country. Now there are enough do-gooders in every society and in every col colony who will uh, who will go and feed these dogs. But then they become villains when these very dogs end up biting a child or an elderly person in the locality. I was saying, you know, one of the things that was proposed in the Supreme Court and the Kerala government had wanted this was culling of stray dogs because stray dogs had be have become a major, major menace in the state of Kerala. Turns out it's not just in the state of Kerala, it's across the country. We have seen what has happened to Parag Desai. Uh, the Supreme Court wasn't very keen on culling, so, so that option is out. But uh, what is it that, uh, you know, that people like you have proposed to the Supreme Court? What is the solution? In fact, you know, when um, I was representing, I'm still representing the NRI Seawood Society and that society was very clear. It did not want the feeding points to be inside the community because these stray dogs had been uh, biting not only the children but the senior citizens. And let me tell you, it does happen. One day I was on a two-wheeler coming a little late in the night and almost three stray dogs chased me. I thought I'm going to fall from the scooter but God was kind and I did not hurt myself. So government needs to do something and the problem is that when the ABC rules 2022 came, they also clearly say that even if a dog, dog has high rabies, you will not 
kill that dog the dog needs to be kept in isolation now here in this country where you cannot even take care of the human population do you think the bmcs do you think the municipal corporations are so equipped to uh, find out the dogs with high incidence of rabies to isolate them sorry i beg to differ i think supreme court by jumping and saying that in fact the high court said said that dogs which are a nuisance should be culled but supreme court by putting a stay uh, there will be a time that uh, people will rise against this order and would clearly say that if somebody is high on rabies and a dog who is biting in fact if you see the figures india has 36% of the rabies death in the world we have the maximum number of stray dog incidents in the world so uh, we have to take care of our citizens if it's a fundamental duty you say that you have should have compassion for living creatures we are ready to have compassion for the dogs who are healthy who are not biting who don't have rabies nobody is stopping you to from feeding them but you cannot feed them in a park you cannot feed them in a parking place you have to follow the guidelines but i think um, uh, you know what the people told me which i don't know how true it is but they said it is the pharma companies the anti rabies vaccine these lobbies also try to come and influence these rules so i think that everything has to be above board and best a uh, human life has to be saved you love your dogs love your animals but we are not ready to accept that it comes and picks children from the hospital and malls them all right ambika shukla would you want to come in here uh, fact is over the last 5 years the the you know the situation with strays in our country has gotten out of hand we saw what happened in the state of kerala which is why the matter had reached the supreme court now i understand that this is a deeply polarizing subject a fact is that there are animal lovers who will who love animals as they should uh, will go out feed them feed them inside colonies feed them outside colonies often get into spats with their own neighbors because the neighbors don't want stray dogs around them they say that they're elderly and their children get threatened on the other hand a uh, fact is that children are being bitten by dogs we have the statistics we've put them out on our screens people in this country citizens of this country are dying because of dog bites Uh, uh what is the solution because there seems to be no middle uh, there, there seems to be no meeting ground between these two groups <laughs> well firstly i'd like to say how deeply saddened i am by mr parag desai's uh, passing he was a very very strong staunch supporter of animal rights and of street animals himself mm. he contributed generously to shelters he in fact donated two vans for mobile treatment of street animals just recently so we have lost a very very dear uh, friend of our street dogs and of the the animal welfare community so we are deeply sad and it comes like a double tragedy to us firstly losing him losing a benefactor and a strong supporter and secondly that this incident should be being brought back to vilify street dogs which he would have not wanted at all people who are close to him saying he this is certainly something he would never have wanted secondly i'd like to say that somebody who was himself so fond of street dogs and so familiar with their behavior it seems unlikely that he would be panicked by dogs running or barking so I, you know since we can never know what actually happened um uh, i would just like everybody to respect his sentiments and to not misrepresent an incident that we can really not know fully and clearly as to what happened secondly with regard to kerala i would like to point out Abhika, a few things Abhika, kerala can i can i is can one I just state come in, in india here for a minute that has refused uh, abika yeah, can do, i just do allow me a minute the kerala yeah uh, can uh, i just, just yeah Uh, yeah j- 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 before you start with kerala i'll give you time that's okay we want to hear what you're saying i just want to uh-huh. i just want to step in and just clarify where the information yeah. about parag desai's death is coming now th- this is all reported this is uh, these are the reports that have gone to the police so this yeah. is a police report there was a ma- watchman who was on duty who has witnessed what has happened and this Understood. is what he has reported to the police which then has been reported to you know, our news what agencies people which is how see, we are reporting it so yeah. on our part there is no yeah. mis- misrepresentation yeah. we have uh, simply I reported understand. what the police is I reporting i understand it's not on your part i'm saying correct correct i'm hmm. saying what people see and what people understand 
there's sometimes a wide difference. So since we cannot know actually what exactly happened, a watchman can misunderstand. Somebody can be friendly playing with dogs, feeding dogs, and he might misunderstand it as a crowd of dogs being uh, uh, somebody being afraid. So, you know, uh, what is seen and what is understood, there is often a wide gap. So I would say that given Mr. Desai's fondness for dogs and his familiarity with their behavior, uh, it seems unlikely that he would be frightened uh, by anybody barking or running. Anyway, let's get to Kerala. I would like to point out that Kerala, in 2001, the government of India introduced the ABC program, which is animal birth control, wherein dogs are sterilized and vaccinated statewide, everywhere by the municipality. Mm. Now, Kerala, where it was introduced in 2001, until 2015, Kerala had not even adopted this program. Secondly, when they adopted it, they did mm. not do it by uh, volition of their own accord. They were ordered by their high court to do it on somebody's petition. Then when they were ordered to do it, who did they entrust this program to? To a women's empowerment group with neither the expertise nor the experience to conduct such a program. So the program was totally mishandled. In three years' time, again, the, Supreme, uh, the High Court of Kerala stepped in and said, you've totally botched up this program, close it down immediately by this women's group. So they have never taken the solution seriously. So when you say that the situation in Kerala is this mm. or that, or it is entirely the fault of the local government for not implementing the solution. The solution is definitely sterilization and vaccination. Mm. And as two callers have pointed out to you, Goa has become rabies-free through this program. Sikkim is about to become rabies-free. Jaipur, where this program was first introduced, became rabies-free within two years. Similarly, everywhere where ABC has mm. been introduced, not only have we become rabies-free, biting has reduced, and so have the numbers stabilized. So, you know, when you have a sensible, and this is a WHO okay. program, and it has been proven everywhere, it has been systematically mm. applied, so we have a solution with us. Why do we need to look elsewhere? Imp implement mm. the solution systematically, implement it consistently, do not derail it every time there's an incident, one-off incident here mm. or there, what happens is it is derailed every time there's one incident and everybody focuses their attention there and dogs are relocated, beaten, chased, which disrupts the program and completely destroys the good work done. So what you have to do is commit to the program. Okay. It's okay. a time-bound program, mind you. It is not mm. something that carries on infinitely. The ABC program will work, give it, mm. give it time, but give it enough time to work consistently and be consistent in its implementation. Okay, let me get in two more callers then. Rajiv is calling us from Mumbai and Ramesh is calling us from Bangalore. We also have Sushil from Indore, but let's start with Rajiv. Rajiv, go ahead, please. First of all, madam, uh, I am Rajul Gandhi, not Rajiv. I think uh, my surname is uh, making my name Rajiv. Okay. I am Rajul Gandhi. Hello. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi you, from yeah. Mumbai. Yeah, Rajul, Rajul, R-A-J-U-L, Rajul. All right, Mr. Rajul, go ahead, please. Yeah, thank you. Uh, see, uh, mera ek question ye hai, mere ko kai baar mene kai logo se baat ki hai. Hmm. Uh, ye samaj mene hi aara hai ki jo stray hmm. dogs hai, unke piche itna jo mute. म्यूनिसिपालिटी वो इतनी लाइट क्यों है मैं एक बंबई के बहुत ही पॉश एरिया में रहता हूं और वहां पर मतलब सुबह रे पांच बजे तक इतना इतना इन लोगों का भावो भावो चलता रहता है और जब मैं एमएलए के पास जाता हूं तो बोले नहीं कानून के हिसाब से हमारे हाथ बंदे हुए हैं अभी मेरे को ये समझ में नहीं आता है कि ये इतना हमारे मिस्टर पराग जी का जो अवसान हुआ उसके लिए बड़ा ही दुख की बात है ये और दूसरी बात कि मैंने देखा है कि मैंने जैसे बताया कि एक पॉश एरिया में रहता हूं उस एरिया में एक उनका जो फैमिली का जो सर्वेंट रहता है वो एक नॉट के अंदर छे छे ऐसे कुत्तों को लेके पालतू कुत्तों को लेके जाता है और पूरे गंदगी करते हैं रोड में क्योंकि वो इनका जो कंटेंशन क्या रहता है कि शीट बाहर ले जाके करे घर में गंदा ना करे रोड इतनी अच्छी से म्यूनिसिपालिटी सफाई करती है और उसके बाद ये जो डॉग्स हैं पालतू कुत्ते एक ही आदमी एक हाथ में एक रस्सी रहती है उसमें तीन डॉग दूसरे हाथ में दूसरी रस्सी तीन डॉग छह डॉग में से इतनी गंदगी करते हैं कि अपन एक तरफ इतनी सफाई का अभियान चलाते हैं और अगर कोई ह्यूमन बींग कुछ भी गंदगी करता है तो उसके नहीं राजू जी लेकिन बात अभी स्ट्रे डॉग्स की हो रही है पालतू कुत्तों की नहीं हो रही है सो वी लेट इट गो रमेश यू आर कॉलिंग अस फ्रॉम बैंगलोर प्लीज गो अहेड 
Uh, thanks uh, for having me. Uh, it's very simple uh, thing which I want to mm. get forward to you is that uh, if somebody that who was the panel there, no, like uh, who was uh, from uh, uh, Supreme Court uh, next uh, uh, animal rights, if someone from their family get bitten, they will be knowing the pain. All right. So it's easy to talk, easy to give law, mm. everything. Even the municipal also has to be held responsible here. That's very important. So now since the, the Mr. Parag uh, got uh, uh, bitten and he passed away, we are getting it on the news. I'm sorry for that, uh, Mary. I have my condolence. Mm. At the same time, if it is the normal thing, you know, it wouldn't have happened this big. So it has to be blamed by the government and even this activities also who are mm. fighting for the dogs. Yes, we, even we also have okay. dogs, but you need to know how to treat the dogs too. Okay, okay. Uh, Sushil, uh, you're calling us from Indor. Go ahead, please. Sushil, are you on the line with us? If not, then I'll go to Gaurav from Delhi. All right, so Sh Sushil, I'm, I'm, you're calling us yeah, from I'm Indore. Going, go ahead, talking, please. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, hmm. see, I'm hmm. surprised by the, uh, the sayings of uh, the animal lover. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised, you know, the... You, if you reduce the volume of your television set, uh, we'll be able to hear you better. Yeah, she said it by the death of Mr. Farag Desai. Uh, who who was an animal lover? She is not. She has not mentioned a single thing. She not. She is not. She is not saddened by the death of brother and sister, small brother and sister, poor people from Patna and from uh, from Madhya Pradesh. She is not saddened by the dogs of Hyder the dog biting deaths of Hyderabad. She just and she is trying to say that what you see and what you don't see. What you see cannot be same as since he was an animal lover, he cannot be frightened. So if his friendly dogs also kill him, you know, so then what is the solution? And there are no practical solution. What she is suggesting, 1.6 crores of dogs, you know, cannot be fed. And the people who feed them do not want to take them to their houses or their locality. They will take it. They will do it whenever it is available, which is convenient to them. And simply, they want to keep a badge that they are animal lovers. Hmm. Okay, uh, you know, I'll give the last word to uh, uh, to Abha and to Ambika, but Ambika, since that statement was meant for you, go ahead, yeah. please take 20 yeah. seconds and respond to uh, what the gentleman was saying. Size incident, so I expressed my condolences to him. But of course, every single incident, every tragedy uh, is uh, is extremely saddening. What we have to understand is that we do have solutions and we need to pursue those solutions for everybody's safety. The, the sterilization program contains biting. It ends biting, in fact, because there are three conditions for biting which it addresses. One is during mating when males become aggressive. Two is after giving birth when females become protective. And third is when dogs stray into each other's territory. That causes fighting and that ends and that can cause biting. So the a sterilization program, it finishes mating, so there's no male aggression. Two, there are no babies born, so females don't become protective. And finally, because dogs are replaced in their same areas, there is no territorial fighting. So it actually addresses the, both numbers, bites, and finishes rabies. So we have a mm. sensible, systematic program. All it needs is a willingness to commit to it, to follow it and to believe in it. We need much more public support for it. It has never been publicly explained. People are against feeding. When feeding is a crucial part of this program, it renders the dog's operation worthy. And secondly, it makes them friendly and therefore easy to handle. Therefore, all the sterilization, the success of the sterilization program depends on regular feeding. So if you adopt and encourage feeders. And this doesn't have to cost the government anything. The feeding is done voluntarily by people if they would just be supported by their societies instead of being suspected. You know, feeding is regarded with great suspicion. It doesn't do any harm. It only does good. Feeders are your angels on ground because they make the dogs friendly. The friendly dogs never harm you. 
So they are working for your benefit. Please support your local feeders. Allow the dogs to be okay. fed. Those same dogs will okay. be sterilized. They will live out their natural lives healthily and harmlessly. Abha Singh, that in, then in that sense, have we been barking up the wrong tree, as it were, villainizing the feeders, uh, when instead the problem is with the non-implementation of India's ABC program? It has seen an amendment, but the fact is that this program has been on for years and years and years and years. And yet the problem has not just persisted, it has only grown. You know... Shreya, I am appalled the way Ambika Shukla is saying just by feeding you are going to solve all the problems. I think she's forgotten the figures. 5,500 um, uh, dog bite cases are there every day. I mean, if you see, uh, if she's talking of that some states have become rabies free in, uh, in Uttar Pradesh, Sitapur, 14 children died in a day, you know, due to dog bite. I mean, the figures are on and on. Maharashtra has one of the highest number of dog bites. And then after that, the, your Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairying, we were arguing in Bombay High Court before Justice Patel and before we could reach a solution, the Animal Birth Control Rules 2022 came. And I think Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairying, I mean, I don't know what non-application of mine. If you see the rules, section 16 of that rules, it says if there is a dog bite, then there'll be a committee of two people that will be one from the organization, one from the veterinary college. They will examine that rabies dog and then take a decision. Here you don't, you cannot provide immediate medical help to human beings. And here for for rabies dogs, you are setting up an organization. It's bizarre. I don't know how it is to be implemented. I think it's a total non-application of mine. And in fact, as early as 2008, Bombay High Court had clearly said that dogs that are creating a nuisance should be uh, should be dealt with by the BMC. They should be killed. But Supreme Court put a stay. I think uh, just to say that feeding and give support to the feeder, let me tell you, all of us are humane. All of us are ready to feed the dog. But dogs that turn rabies. Rabbit, they, there is no solution. In fact, if I just read out, it says any suspected rabbit dog would then be subjected to inspection by a panel of two persons and like a veterinary surgeon appointed by the local authority and a representative from an animal welfare organization. I mean, it's such red tapism. I mean, for one rabbit dog, do you think it's possible? Here in Nanded, so many children died because there was not no. oxygen. There are so many deaths and so many hospitals because of lack of, lack of facilities. And here for dogs, the animal husbandry department has come out with, please read clause 16. I mean, you are uh, endangering lives. You are endangering lives of children, senior citizens, half the women I was representing in Bombay High Court, they had severe fractures. They have become disabled because they had to run to save their lives by these uh, stray dogs which were there in the societies. So I think the government need to put their brains. Supreme Court needs to look into it and uh, it cannot be just saying that it's all due to feeding. Sorry, then 5,500 dog bites would not take place every day because India is food sufficient. There is enough food. There are NGOs. There are restaurants, they give away food by the tons. So uh, it is just not dog feeding. There's much more to that. All right. We'll leave it there for the moment. Again, as I said, you it's a deeply polarizing issue. On one hand, points. there are animal lovers. So uh, embrace the solution. Uh, okay. Embrace the solution. Yeah. Well, the solution hasn't worked. Um, because Shukla, the point is the solution hasn't worked for a while now. And the solution... It hasn't been implemented, uh, that, has, uh, that has been it put on top of that solution. It yeah, has been maybe. implemented very patchily. Uh, and and, uh, and to implement, implemented very patchily. Yeah, and to implement what, uh, what has worked. now come. Yeah. Uh, see, the point is that to implement is it, it, it is one thing. Then there is, uh, you know, you now have the new 2022 rules. To implement that will be next to uh, impossible, as Abha Singh is pointing out to us. So I don't know where, this, where the solution lies, really. It's a deeply polarizing issue. Is a solution at hand? Not by the looks of it. Ambika Shukla, we leave it there for the moment. Thank you. Abha Singh, thank you very much for joining us. And apologies to all our callers uh, who, who are still lined up waiting to speak to us. Uh, we promise we'll open up our phone lines another day as well. For the moment, I'm slipping into a quick break on the show. There's much more coming up on the other side, ladies and gentlemen. Do stay with us.